Hello friends, welcome back. Here is one more TCS Digital Elevate Wing 1 preparation video. And this is going to be part 6 for coding section. Part 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 are already uploaded on this channel. You can check the playlist TCS Digital. And link will also be provided in description for all these videos. And link to follow us on Instagram will also be provided in description. So here is the problem statement. Find maximum sum sub matrix in a given matrix. Given a m into n matrix. Calculate maximum sub sum matrix of size k into k in a given m into n matrix in O m into n time. Here 0 is less than k and k will be less than m or n. For example, consider below m into n matrix and here is the matrix of 5 into 5 size. And these are all the elements of this matrix uh, like 3 minus 4, 6 minus 5 and 1. Now if k is equal to 2, maximum sum k into k sum matrix is 9342. So this will be our matrix or we can say our required matrix of size 2 into 2. Now if k is equal to 3, it simply means we have to find a matrix of size 3 into 3. So here it will be our required matrix of size 3 into 3. And now how to solve this question? The idea is to pre-process the matrix. We take an auxiliary matrix sum where sum ij will store the sum of the element in matrix form from 0, 0 to ij. We can easily calculate the sum of ij in constant time by using the below relation. Sum i into j is equal to sum i into j minus 1 plus sum i minus 1 into j plus matrix i into j minus sum i minus 1 j minus 1. Now to find maximum sum k into k sum matrix, we consider every sum matrix of size k into k and calculate their sum in constant time by directly using below relation. Sub sum matrix is equal to sum i into j minus sum i minus k into j minus sum i into j minus k plus sum i minus k into j minus k. Here i j is the bottom right corner coordinates of k into k sub matrix. Finally we print the sub matrix that has maximum sum. And this is the solution in C++ language and we have commented the every step that we have used like k must be smaller than or equal to n, pre-processing to store sum of all strip of size k into n and uh, this program continues here and uh, you can simply pause and just have a look and try to understand it properly and to help you we have commented the steps that we have followed and uh, after this, this is the continuation of this program. And these are few final steps in our program. So guys, thanks for watching this video. And please subscribe this channel TCS India.